What you are watching is the second part of a four part series where I go over the procedurally generated arc feature. Yeah, I was surprised that was a thing too. You're going to want to watch the first video because that sort of explains what I'm doing, but if you don't want to, basically what I do in this video is I go over some of the presets that the developers have made, I see how those compare, and overall I just get a better feel for the system. Okay, what do we have here? We got Default, Drake's World, Bronto Island, High Alps, Island Cove, Island Pines, Crystal Shores, Sandy Shores, Many Islands, Redwoods, Snow, and Mountains. Drake's World, that might be a little bit of a custom made one. I think Drake might be one of the head developers, he was probably the one in charge of this project, so he got his own world. Let's check out Drake's World. And again, I was stuck staring at this black screen for 10 minutes as I waited for the world to load in. I mean, this time I wasn't closing my app because I knew it hadn't crashed, but still, some sort of loading icon would have been nice. Alright, Drake's World sure took its time loading in. My controller disconnected, in fact. Just go East Zone 1. Let's check out what uh, Drake uh. here has cooked up. Straight off the bat, I'm noticing... This area is pretty damn good. I like this spot, actually. Yeah, like, this just looks fine. There's none of that, uh weird shit with the ground, not yet at least. It's a little hilly, but nothing that you couldn't build a, like a nice base on. The density of the trees is a little low, but better than before. There's a little bit of the ground shit going on here. But it's not terrible, and it doesn't really impact my movement all that much. To be fair. Yeah, this area is looking pretty good. It's kind of a lowlands, some water peeking out at a couple points, but it's kind of it's pretty chill. I like it. We got our first mountain. And again, more of the jungles. Again, this is where the uh, PG arc really shines. So it looks like you can't run up there, but you can. Let's just say I'm some Bob and I want to go up and get some metal. I don't really have any tame, so I gotta do it on foot. Well, I've managed to make it up this far. And I can definitely get my share of metal here. But I want to go up further, get a little bit of obsidian. And it doesn't look like that's gonna be possible. Or. Maybe it is. <laughs> okay. I got up this far. This is a very steep hill, but you can run up it, even though it takes a little bit of ingenuity and kind of guesswork. Get up here. It doesn't look all that bad, to be fair. I would put a lot more metal up here. But yeah, overall, you can just run up it. It's pretty smooth in that sense not bad at all. I don't know what setting he did, but the ground just seems to be a lot more stable and a lot less, you know, kind of ball sack skinny. We got a big old mountain range right here. With, you know, again, to like 10 metal rocks. Again, more of just jungle. More of the same. There's nothing really all that special about this. I like this little uh, peninsula right here. I guess a bay. I guess this would be a bay. This bay is very cool. I like the idea of like, uh, like kind of blocking this off, and then you have a bunch of like, and then you have basically access to the bay with uh, your raft, and no one can bring it up here. This is cool. I really like this right here. Through here, and it reminds me a lot of the center, actually. The, like the center jungles very uh, similar to that we got another cool island over here I like this I'm a sucker for like I islands off by themselves I don't know why it's just something I really like really really like there's like metal up here a, a single obsidian rock
I like the idea of building a bridge from here to there, like to there, and then you can connect to the mainland. That's just kind of cool. A little PV, a little single player, a little, you know, role play kind of stuff, but still, I think it'd be kind of cool. If it weren't for lead sicknesses, this would be a very good map for rafts. I like this a lot, honestly. This would be a cool, uh, cool map to play on PvP, to just experience it. Probably horribly unbalanced, but still. There's maybe only 20 obsidian rocks total on this whole fucking map. Oh, that's cool. Mountain range going snowy. I think that's pretty dope. But it's kind of a shitty mountain. And then we have the snow. The snow actually, again, doesn't look bad. Not bad at all. It really does just look like the island snow. Which maybe shows that they didn't work on it so much on the island. But this is, uh, this is, this is pretty good, actually. I really like this. You know, more mountain. There's actually a decent supply of obsidian here. <laughs> and, and, you know, by decent, what I mean is, like, seven or, like, ten rocks would be pretty cool. The snow's, uh, not hugely remarkable. It's a lot more like the island, though, in that it's, there's parts that are inland. It's not just completely surrounded by water. Pretty cool. We got a couple little lakes right here. I like that. Some really torn up ground right here. Though. Uh, if they release this as one of the arc maps in its current state, I would say like, ugh, that is terrible. Very low quality. You can see they didn't even really try. But if, you know, if they gave Drake, if he still even works for the dev team, I don't know who he is. If they gave Drake like, all right, uh, two weeks, here's all the tools you need. Kind of uh, flatten things out, get metal spawning correctly, put caves in. You know, maybe put in a couple landmarks, change a couple things, you know, just give them two weeks. I think this could be a very cool map. So that was Drake's World. It was definitely an improvement over the default one. There was a lot less messed up ground. The mountains just seemed more user friendly. But overall, the map wasn't particularly remarkable. And really, I think it was about time I moved on to the next one. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to boot up Bronto Island. I wonder if there's going to be a lot of Brontos. See if there truly are that many Brontos. The beach is uh, incredibly small. Which I'm not a fan of, but like me some thick beaches. <clears throat> Mountain seems pretty manageable. You can run up it, it's kind of dead. This is a kind of a cool spot right here. This reminds me a lot of the Drake's World Bay. But again, very thin beaches. Here's the here's Bronto number one. Okay. Really nothing all that special about it so far. If you told me this is Drake's World, I would also believe you. The mountains seem a little cooler, to be honest. I kind of like the gradual increase. Though a little dead. There definitely should be some bushes here. This looks a lot like the uh, Drake world. They, I think they all follow the same template, but they just make slight changes to it. You know, more mountain. There's nothing really all that interesting about it. This is like my third time seeing it, and I feel like I've seen it a million times. This lake is really cool. I actually really like this. This island right here is dope. Look at this. This might have been the island I spawned on the first time. Except this time, it's a little bit of a further swim. Fat trikes walking around me. Am I on some sort of island, maybe? Like a little bit off the shore? The beach. Beach trees are spawning, rocks are spawning. I am on a little bit of an island here. I, I feel like I've seen this before. But it's just slightly different. I'm getting deja vu. I think I'm starting to realize now. Every every source of water either counts as an ocean spawn or a swamp spawn. So out here, this is uh, ocean spawns. Ocean shit spawns in here. And then this is swamp spawn. So swamp shit and sarcos and crocodiles, everything like that spawns in here. There's no in-between. There's no just like calm waters where... You know, you might get a piranha or a megalodon if you're unlucky. It's either fucking full swamp or full ocean. 
so the water system's a little bit fucked in that way. But yeah, I think I'm about done with uh, Bronto Island here. A big letdown. I was thinking maybe there'd be a, the whole thing would just be one big island without any of these waterways cutting in. And it'd be real mountainy. There'd be a bunch of Brontos, but it's just if you called this Drake's World too, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, sure. Bronto Island was a complete letdown. First off, I only saw the one Bronto. Why the fuck is it called Bronto Island if it's not popping off with Brontos? And second off, it really did just feel like a small variation on Drake's World. So, I've showed you very little of it because basically I would just be showing you Drake's World twice. Try some more of these though. So, Snow and Mountain sound like they're going to be cancer. Redwoods though, I, I wonder if we'll have a lot of Redwoods. Let's see. I've literally been reading books in between fucking the worlds loading in. Get like a solid 10 pages through. Anyway, let's see. This one was Redwoods, so I'm hoping for a nice... Oh. <laughs> Please tell me the whole map is Redwoods. This is looking like Redwoods, alright. Oh, gee. It is all fucking... <laughs> okay, this is a little ridiculous. Wow. This is honestly pretty cool. Imagine an Arc Apocalypse wipe on this map. Dude, that would be so fucking cool. Jesus. That's so ridiculous, dude. Imagine living like here, right? You live in this spot. You just got your little 2x2 two two right here. And there's this whole fucking world of just redwoods around. This is my favorite one by far. What is this? This is weird. I guess there's probably supposed to be water here. This is a beach biome. This is this is actually pretty damn cool to be fair. Wow. Yeah, I would I think this would be maybe it wouldn't be balanced. And maybe a couple days in you'd find out it wasn't fun, but I think this would be a very interesting experience. Alright, imagine this. 30 days of arc spent like this. You know, you ever wanted to feel small? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty fucking small right now. So, I'm not gonna show you anymore. Obviously, it's just a bunch of redwoods, and that's about it. Now, if you don't think this is fucking awesome, if a little bit gimmicky, I think there's something wrong with you. The trees just seem to be so much tighter than they are on the island, and that honestly is a pretty cool aesthetic. You feel like you're getting choked out by the leaves, and you can't see any sunlight on the floor. I would have liked to have seen a couple Arc Apocalypse maps like this, and they could have just been their own little cluster. But, whatever. I'm actually very impressed that the system was able to make something like this. But it's time to move on to the next one. After all, how many trees can I look at before I get bored? Look in some of these. It's a toss up between sandy shores and many islands. Fuck it. You know what? Let's try both. Let's see how this goes. Load it in. He was hoping for some nice big old beaches. Okay. Okay, I'm liking the spawn. This looks this looks almost entirely like a fucking island spawn, Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah, this is cool. I've always preferred the beaches in Ark. As you can tell, because I'm always hanging around South One and Blue Ob. And this is this is a cool sight to see. Hopefully you don't have resource, at least rocks. You don't have rocks right next to the water. You usually have them a little closer to the forest. That's a little weird. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Fucking piece of shit. But yeah, the beaches are cool. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. There's going to be pretty big beaches here. And that's... uh. Definitely cool thing to have. I like that. Or is that the, is that like the only gimmick that the beaches are a little bit longer? When you're someone who spent as much time on the beach as I have, you pick up how these rock formations they don't look quite right. Like the trees look a little scuffed, sure, but they look fine. But the rocks, the rocks are weird. Again, the the placement just isn't. It's random placement. Of course, it's gonna look a little different. 
overall just taking a good look around this is uh this is cool i like this but it feels like a small change to just have the beaches be a little bigger like i was thinking it would have been like the redwoods map where like the whole thing is just beach not oh the beaches are slightly bigger but i mean i'm not sure if the you know, the system can create a map that's all beach but i mean it's cool i feel like this should almost be the standard for all maps because most maps just have like there's like a tiny little bit of beach this should really be the default this is a great spawn this is just cool and that's really all there is to say about this map particularly it really did just feel like another drake's world or bronto island not there's really too much of a difference between those two but this time i had longer beaches and i feel like this should be the standard for any map that's made because it better imitates that of the island in the center. And those beaches allow you to more easily get your bearings, get resources, and keep eyes out for threats. And they're just a great tool for new players. But with that out of the way, let's move on to the next and final preset that we will be looking at. The final preset is called Many Islands. So I expect to encounter many islands. Whoa. Straight off the bat, definitely looks like I'm on an island. Huh. This looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, the beach is decently sized, which I, of course, enjoy. As you can probably tell how I gushed over sandy shores. The tree density feels a lot better. I think I may be in an actual forest. The ground is nice. This is a really good spawn point, honestly. We got like a little hill right here. This is kind of a cool landmark almost. Oh, I am on an island. This is a very big island. Oh, dude. That'd be cool if you want to get to the rest of the map. You gotta fucking... Oh, you gotta make a raft. And of course you can. There's plenty of stuff to kill here. And plenty of wood. That would be a really cool, uh, cool, like, map. Like when I was talking about Arcpocalypse. With them doing different maps every time. I think this would be a really cool one. You spawn on a random island, and then you, uh, you make rafts, and then you go to the other islands. It'd be like Atlas, except not shit. Okay, so this one right here is a massive island. This might be the biggest one, looking around here. And they weren't kidding about the many islands. This is really cool. So you got shitty ones like this. Uh, well, these guys are going to be problems. If you ever wanted to do the raft thing, you definitely have to disable their spawns but this is cool this would be like a really cool uh you know raft kind of warfare map this could be like the oh this would be like the best island to defend you put a tree platform up here and you can just see all the rafts coming in from like a mile away this would be like a really good base spot oh dude that's so cool i wish this was a thing you know some islands are better than others but yeah, this would be really cool. This is probably what Atlas should have been, to be fair. Just an arc map that was based around rafts. Maybe add a couple new raft types. This very much so made me lament what could have been. The idea of hopping from island to island just to get the basic resources you need to actually build up was such a cool idea to me that... It, it's a shame they never just took a map like this, made it bigger, and made it like a DLC. That would have been fucking amazing. I said I liked Sandy Shores, and then I said I liked the Redwoods. I like this one a lot more than the Redwoods, to be honest. There's just so many gameplay opportunities here. Like the normal arc doesn't have. Redwoods Island is... What the hell? They're all in, like, very neat lines. That's really weird. Obviously, I'd probably change that. I don't want it to look like a fucking tree farm. Oh, this redwood sucks. It's full of... There's so many rocks. You literally... I don't know what setting they put for the redwoods, but they fucked it up pretty bad. The trees are, like, in lines. It's hard to go anywhere because there's so much bush coverage and there's a ridiculous amount of rocks. I would definitely change the redwoods. Maybe I wouldn't even have redwoods. Or just a couple redwoods trees. And they would be, like, rare resources in and of themselves. And there's a DLC that I... 
magically been put in charge of. Looks like there's no snow either. You know, imagine starting on an island like this, right? This is your spawn. You could maybe get a couple more trees, put a couple dodos on here. And you have to use all of your wood to make a raft to move on to the next one. That would definitely be a really cool DLC. You have a bunch of these little islands. You spawn on them along so sort of the outside here, and then you move inland towards bigger islands. Once you can make a raft like this, this island right here probably be the best one to spawn on. There's like you have you have to island hop if you want to actually get like structures and shit, because there wouldn't be enough resources on a single island to really do too much. Damn, dude, I'm feeling all giddy about a DLC that doesn't even exist. I take that back. There is, there's a small little snow island, and that's actually probably it also would be an interesting dynamic, of like, yeah, you come here if you want to tame, like big buff creatures. Oh, this redwoods actually blends into the jungle really well. Yeah, if only they did something like this with the snow. Yeah, there's like jungle trees going into the redwoods, so it looks a, it looks like a natural transition. Yeah, like one week. And a couple dev tools, and I think I could sort this into a pretty playable map. So I've looked through all the presets, found out what I like and what I didn't like. And next episode, I will be making my own map and taking the best elements of all of them. So make sure to like, subscribe, so you guys know when that one comes out. Until then, I'll see you guys later.